Hi, welcome to our design video blog with Nick and James from Creare. We're going to show you a three-part video tutorial on how to uh, build a website prototype to show your client. This is a process that we use at Creare and it's a very good way of showing a client a website uh, prototype of how it could look when it was live on the internet. Uh, this process starts in Photoshop, we use fireworks and then move on to Dreamweaver to put it live. Okay, because of the YouTube time cap, we're going to split this tutorial into three parts, as James said. The first one's going to be preparing and exporting from Photoshop. The second one is using uh, fireworks to slice up the design and to add rollovers and basic functionality. And the third one is to add your flash in Dreamweaver and set the site live, basically, or the prototype live. So let's start in Photoshop. Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm going to use a design that my colleague Mandy was working on last week. Uh, this is a prototype website for the College of West Anglia. So essentially for this um, prototype we're going to have a navigation rollover and we're also going to have two pieces of flash inserted. So the first thing you need to consider when making a prototype is the background of the web page. So in this instance we've just got a vertical gradient so all I would need to do is to take a one pixel sliver of the background and save that for web and we would then come back to use that when we get to Dreamweaver. If you're using a solid colour, then you don't need to worry about saving a background. We'll just quite simply reference the uh, RGB colour when we get to Dreamweaver through the CSS. So, uh, first thing you need to do, if like me, you're going to put some flash in your prototype, you need to create a mask to cover up the flash areas. Uh, this essentially will help you cut it out a little bit better when you get to fireworks in a moment. So, all that we need to do in Photoshop is essentially take away two JPEGs for fireworks. Um, if you're using rollovers, you need an up state and then you need an over state. So for the up state, all that's going to happen is that the navigation is going to be um, red as normal. And then the over state, the navigation is going to change to having a green background. So if you've already done the background slither, then you essentially want to crop your um, web page down. This will help reduce the file size and also help just to ensure that the page is centered properly in the prototype. So once you've cropped it, simply save this first um, frame as up.jpg or something similar. And then if you've got an overstate, I've got one ready down here. This one essentially has the navigation in green. So once cropped, I would save this second JPEG as over.jpg. Then we're ready to move into fireworks. Just before we finish, if you are trying to optimise your website, um, we've come across this site called Website Grader. Have a look at that now, and that just kind of gives you advice and statistics on your websites and your competitors. Okay, so WebsiteGrader.com. All you simply have to do is just enter the URL of your website. So we'll do Create Design in this example. Uh, you can actually compare yourself as well to your competitors uh, by entering their web addresses here. Simply pop in your email address and then click Generate Report. So what this website does is essentially do a quick SEO analysis of your homepage of your website. So once it's generated the report, uh, as you can see here, this website has given us 98.2 um, out of 100 for our Creator Design website. So um, as you scroll down the page, essentially it shows you the breakdown of its analysis, starting with the metadata. Here it's saying that my meta description is too long. Um, so potentially if I uh, alter this a little bit, it might give me a slightly higher score. But again, this isn't like a Google product or anything, so you know, it's just another good website to, um, you know, just to compare your SEO with, not necessarily you know, following all of their recommendations. Uh, has a look at the heading summary. Again, it's sort of identified there that our Creator Design homepage has got more than one heading, one tag, which is probably actually quite good advice. Um, then we've got image summary, um, sort of saying there's too many images and so forth. Uh, and then it goes through sort of other things like readability, domain name, um, page rank, Alexia rank, traffic, that sort of thing. Um, picks up on your blog if you have one. And essentially just gives you a general overview as to the uh, on-site search engine optimization of your website. Um, that's essentially it. So it's a very good little tool, uh, you know, just to quickly run your web, uh, website through. It's completely free. Uh, it takes literally uh, 30 seconds to a minute to process and then you get a um, you know quite a comprehensive report of recommendations for your website. So as I said, not necessarily the holy grail, but it's definitely worth checking out. Part two of this video tutorial will be released on Monday. If Monday's already passed, then the uh, link to this video will appear here. 
Okay, thank you for watching. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash career group or follow us on Twitter, that's twitter.com forward slash career group.